what's up guys you might be wondering how I navigate my way around Shanghai considering the fact that um, the country is predominantly Chinese spoken uh, so that's Mandarin or Cantonese but mostly Mandarin and you're wondering how does an English speaker uh, ride a motorcycle around uh, China and Shanghai to be specific uh, if I if I can't read the, the language I speak Mandarin but I can't read nor write so how do I find my way around come with me on this ride and I'll tell you all about it all right guys so we are on the bike now and like I said in my intro, I'm just going to introduce to you um, the road signage situation in Shanghai. Uh, and I know what you're thinking, but it might not be as you're thinking. So, yeah, let me navigate this intersection. It's kind of tricky. Yeah, guys, so like I rightly said, Shanghai is a Chinese-speaking country. And as you can imagine, Chinese language is spoken everywhere. It, it is the lingua franca. Although people speak English and uh, a few other languages, but I mean, just like everywhere else, English is widely spoken, especially among young people because they all learn English in school now and it's not as difficult to find someone who speaks English as it was maybe 8-10 years ago uh, but all the same Chinese is still the most widely spoken language for obvious reasons because that's the national language but being a foreigner living in China and riding a motorcycle in China one might ask how do I navigate on the motorcycle how do I know where I'm going how do I know the names of the roads and, and locations and all that well I've been here for a while and although I'm proud to say that I speak Mandarin um, I haven't gone to school to learn how to read or write the characters so in terms of that I'm basically like 0.01% proficient in terms of reading and writing but in terms of speaking uh, I speak pretty good Chinese so yeah that that's that's enough to get me around wherever I want to go but just speaking it is it enough to help you ride a motorcycle around the city and around the country well that's why I'm bringing you this video because in this video I want to uh, explain to you how it works so uh, the first thing I'll talk about is the GPS system so all over the world people are very familiar with uh, Google Maps and other other map services such as Waze and, and a few other ones uh, but here in China Baidu which is the biggest search engine um, has its own GPS mapping system uh, which works like Google and in some instances it's even better than Google because it has a lot more detail um, so if you live in Shanghai or in China I mean if you live in China your best bet is to use Baidu even though it's a Chinese language I mean if you use it for a while you can find your way around it but if but definitely if you don't read Chinese you can't you can use it but a good thing about about it is uh, if you have the um, WeChat which is a, a social chat service just like what's up then someone can even send you a pin drop of their location and all you have to do is click the map and then uh, it takes you straight to navigation you choose your options and there you go 
And there's another one also run by, owned and, and run by Alibaba, the famous Alibaba.com, the worldwide wholesale giant. And that is called AMAP. And it works very similarly as Baidu. It doesn't have as much detailed information as Baidu. But it, it will take you from point A to B, uh, just as the Baidu maps will. So that is regarding the mapping aspect. Now, I'm going to talk about road signs. So on this right, if you look right above me, I'll show you some of the signs as I go along. You will see that the road signs are usually in English and Chinese. So that's one thing Shanghai is very good at doing because Shanghai is known as the most international uh, city in China they try to write English in about 90% of the public places um, so I'm making a turn here now and if you look up you will see that these road signs some are in China I mean they are in Chinese and in English you might not see it properly because of the Sun but there are other signs ahead. So basically, if you are in Shanghai, navigating around shouldn't be much of a problem because the road signs and the road names are usually in both Chinese and in English as well. And that system really, really makes it easy for, for foreigners to be able to move around. And especially for me, if I'm riding. But what I, like I said, what I use the most is uh, the local maps, GPS maps, and make riding around really, really easy. But then to be sure you're looking at the right thing, the road signs, the plates on the, on the roads really help a lot. So I have another sign coming up. And these road signs are color coded. so usually the ones that are leading to highways as you can see up there the ones that lead to highways and major roads are in green color and the ones that show common roads around the city are in blue color so that's that's one thing that makes it easier major first tier cities in china are very similar to the situation in shanghai so you're going to find english almost everywhere you go uh, but when you go to second tier or what I'll call smaller or third tier cities, smaller towns and and even big, some big cities, there is some English, but it's not as easy to see as you see as it is in Shanghai. So in Shanghai, a lot a lot of things are a lot easier, and that's probably why a lot of foreigners uh, live and work in Shanghai because. It's more international. Um, you don't even if you don't speak the language, you'll be able to find your way around because there is some English always coming with the Chinese characters. But then there are some foreigners who have schooled here and have learned the language really well. Some can read and write and speak it excellently. Those don't have they have zero zero problem navigating their way around because they can speak it, they can read, they can write. But for people like me who haven't learned how to read or write, you can still find English on the boards and it's, it's, it makes it a lot easier to move around. And if you look on the right, you will see that small blue board right there. That is the name of the road and it also tells you the numbering of the address system to the left and to the right. So if to the left is to the south, you see an S and if it's the right is to the north you see an N and the same for east and west and so if you're looking for a building or an, addre an address once you find a road you will see the numbering for the buildings to the left and then the numbering for the buildings to the right so for example if you're looking for 500 let's say Apple Road then it will show Apple Road and you can see all the numbers going to the right might be from maybe 50 to 500 and those from the going to the left might be say 1 to, to 49 some of 1 to 50 I, I think you know what I mean so yeah as you can see this is another plate 
it shows to the Hongqia hub and so it always comes with the Chinese character first and then the English character just below it so even if you don't read Chinese it is okay you can you can find your way trying to avoid this bus lane at this time of day only buses are allowed on certain lanes unless you're turning right so as you can see in the distance I don't know if it's showing clearly you can see that big green sign it says G15 that's the name of the highway and so if you turn left you go into another city called Nimbo and if you turn right it takes you to Nantong that's another city so Nimbo is to the left Nantong is to the right so as you can see guys it's not that e it's not that difficult to to find your way around uh, and this is for Shanghai and other major cities so if you are there thinking that uh, it will be difficult to navigate uh, or difficult to move around if you come to China and you definitely need someone well it takes it takes just a short while to get used to it because um, you can you can see English as well there's a blue sign in front of me just after the elevated road so we are going under and it says 7 to, 7 to 9 or 7 to 10 and then 4 to 7 uh, that one shows that within those times this lane on the right is, so, is a bus only lane so as you can see in front of me there is no no cars driving in that lane because it's that time it's, it's about just before 6 p.m and it's only time for and you can see the name of the highway we just passed g316 so this is a road that is within the city but as you get out of the city it turns into a highway and it goes to it passes through many major cities so um the street naming system is very very easy to understand and the numbering system is easy as well we just saw G15 and then now we've seen G316 so you just know where you're going and which highway takes you and all along you will see the name of the road on the highway so that's another sign right there so like I said the blue one is telling you which road is coming up next the one that's showing straight ahead that's Minju Road and then if you turn right you're going to Ingan Road East So yeah, it's not that difficult to navigate at all because you have the English. Yeah, so guys, this is another sign. As you can see, the road signs are clearly written there in English. And that's another sign right there. It tells you which is going straight and which is turning right in English. So all you need is to know the name of the road where you're going and you're good to go. So guys, I guess that's the end of this video. Uh, it was just a quick one to uh, to tell you how I'm able to know where I'm going. Since I'm located in a, a non-English speaking country. It's not a big deal. I was just wondering and thinking that there might be people out there who might want to know this information. Maybe you're planning to come to China someday and to drive or to ride a motorcycle or you're scared of just moving around because um, you've probably heard that it's, it's hard to find people who speak English and all that. Well, I'm happy to tell you that you won't be lonely. There are so many, so many people speaking English. Even the locals now, a lot, a lot and a lot of them speak speak English now so you don't have to worry about language barrier or anything like that once again that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching I hope this information was useful if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel smash the subscribe button join the family so we can grow this YouTube channel together and let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and let me also throw this out there that if you have a video 
uh, a topic that you want me to cover in one of my videos leave it in the comment section and I'll be happy to to do that for you so thank you once again for watching till I see you in the next video guys right legal right safe peace